Okay, we're out. <laughs> this is definitely too scandalous for graduation. It's so fun, though. Huh. I feel like Mother Earth in it. Probably, I'll probably wear like long earrings with it. It looks so bad on me in the store. Like the store's lighting just brought out every flaw. <laughs> and I was like, there's no way. And so I like got it. And then now much more confidence about it. Everything, it was so complicated because it was at Zara. It was the biggest Zara in Spain. And I thought I would have the most luck finding a dress. I was right. But like, I literally went up every single floor because I wanted to find it myself and not ask somebody. But then I just came and I, I asked somebody because I was like, this is the third time I've climbed this particular level. And I got this and then I'll show the other dress that I am debating of wearing. If graduation doesn't have a dress code, I will be wearing this, I think, because I just want to, like, be so extra. We have to do the most, you know? I don't think these earrings go with it, but I do like the energy that they hold. And then no chain. What do we think of the earrings? I just think this dress embodies my personality. Second option is polka dots. I either have to find another size or it's a no-go. This slit is too high. It's too high. Also from Zara. Dramatically cheaper than the other one. <laughs> I now have to go to the museum with my friend. Thanks for listening. And I guess you'll see which one I ended up getting. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, it just went up like a slinky. <laughs> Look, my mom went to the tropical rainforest and forgot we left. <laughs> Look at that. Blow it. I said to blow dry the bottom part. This reminds me of that movie Robots. She had hair like this. Went very simple. Try to keep it as natural as possible. But you know me. Those wings. Ha ha ha. And now I shall apply. Watch my eyebrows. My brother's girlfriend's running the marathon today. How do I make this about me? I don't know. I simply don't. So I need these wings. I'm going to pop them out. They started. Woo! That's good. Three, four, five? Mm -hmm. Who's supposed to finish first? My buddy Ryan. Slay. Waited for the mascara to be done. Okay. Case of love. Ready to slay. Is that be awkward? I just this is my own ring. I'm supposed to go there now. Oh my god, why are you? I'm so excited. And we're gonna go right here. This is crazy. Hey, we're at the commencement right now. <laughs> we're in the way, I think, too. Sorry about that. Better over here. And I'm probably gonna sit right over there, right over yonder. Very excited to be here. It's indoors because it's raining like. This is a challenge, but we have a tremendous commencement team whose works. Uh... Molly Elizabeth Fording, Artyom Baccalaureate, Soma Cum Laude, et Magnus Cum Honoribus in Literus Anglicis. If you didn't notice it, that's me getting my diploma while having them totally skip over my name. Abigail. And just after me is Molly Fording demanding for the diploma that I took. Elizabeth Foster. RTM Beckham. It's Magnus. From that point on, I 
was so focused on not tripping on stage that I didn't even realize that they didn't call my name. And when Molly told me and apologized that they didn't call it, I was going to try to convince myself that they actually did say it or that it didn't upset me that they didn't. I'm honorary bus and uh, historian. So throughout the ceremony, my mom at one point went to the announcer and said, you forgot to call my daughter's name. So not only was my whole family here just to hear them call my name, but I love Spain for this moment. And so after everything was all said and done, the announcer said, oh, and there's one student's name we forgot to call. And her name is Tara. Isabel Ford. Our <laughs> After that, I instantly burst into tears and stood up for the entire room to start cheering for me. Yeah, their families received their lunch on the second floor of the Lowry Center under the ring of fire. What a ride it has been. As I stand here today, looking out at all your beaming faces, I can't help but feel incredibly proud of each and every one of you and every one of us seated here. We made it. Yep. Yeah. You are a wonderful, talented class. We are very proud of you. Congratulations. We're here yes. at the Alcove, my favorite restaurant in town. And just had graduation, and it went almost fantastically smoothly. Almost? I mean, the name thing will be. The name thing made it better. The name thing made it better, for sure. <laughs> because you got your own private announcement. I got my own private announcement, for sure. Thanks to my mom. And I'm gonna have some tacos. Gonna do the thing where you're not technically supposed to touch the plaque until you graduate. Otherwise, if you do it before, it says that you're not gonna graduate Kenyon College. So I'm gonna go step on it. And when I had crutches, I also couldn't step on it. So, big moment. This is Pierce Dining Hall. Behold, it's kind of, it's quite beautiful, but it's also right smack in the middle of the entrance. So I'm gonna just. I'm very happy. Just gonna touch that thing too. Okay, that was probably really dirty. I found some friends. They came out to take pics with me. And I have no shoes on because my feet hurt from those heels. Worth it. But I'd like to say that this was a really good day and I'm so happy. I love you, Kenyon. I love you, Ohio. I'm so glad I went here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at them run. Bye guys. Oh my god, they're literally running. <laughs> So we can have a pocket moment. 